An unpaid work requirement is the most frequently imposed option available to the courts as part of a community paypack order. It can be a minimum of 20 hours and up to a maximum of 300 hours and must be completed within a set time period. Service users who undertake unpaid work repay their local community for the harm caused by their offending through hard work whilst developing new skills and confronting their offending behaviour. The unpaid work service includes case managers, placement coordinators and supervisors who all have a duty to supervise individuals on these orders. Work undertaken on unpaid work cannot replace paid employment, but enhances work carried out by the local authority and community groups throughout the area. Requests from individuals, community groups, charities and organisations for unpaid work assistance are made to the service and coordinators deal with around 40 referrals each month. Examples of the range of unpaid work include house removals, painting and decorating, garden maintenance, environmental work, litter picking, support to local churches and sheltered housing. In 2013, because of the vast amount of work that was here and that we couldn't tackle as volunteers, we contacted Community Payback and we've had an incredible relationship with them They've made things happen that we could never have achieved. They've redeemed old lawns by scarifying. They've made outbuildings safe. They've taken out trees that were dead. They continue to work with us in partnership. And today, for example, we've got a team out doing potholes, cutting grass, eh, all the jobs that we can't get to, they get to. And they keep this place fit for purpose. And we're grateful to them. Also with an Alkintipper unpaid work unit, the Wood Workshop on a Thursday evening provides employed service users an additional opportunity to complete their unpaid work hours. The workshop's part of unpaid work so they can actually complete their full order in the workshop. For people that have never tried any sort of joinery type uh, work in their past, they can discover that they do have an act for it or they do enjoy doing it so maybe continue to do that whether it's employment or just for their own benefit. This is something we made in the workshop it was a, an old whiskey barrel we've transformed it into a train with John's assistance cleaned it up we've gave it a couple of coats of stain painted the hoops black and it's going to be a flower bed and then when it's finished I believe it's getting donated to charity so somebody else gets a bit of a good or something as well so. I've learned a lot, I've learned a lot of different things here because I've only had one trade since I left school but since I've got myself involved in this I've learned quite a bit and it's true to work for the guys and the women in here as well. Over 28 organisations offer service users personal placements in South Lanarkshire. Service users can directly pay the community back by assisting in charity shops with voluntary organisations or beneficiaries. Personal placements give the service user an opportunity to gain valuable work experience, improve social skills and make positive connections with communities. Within Auchintibber, the laundry also allows service users the opportunity of a personal placement. Not a lot of people know that we're doing this service for them, but we do do this service and older people and people who are vulnerable send in their washing and we get it all clean, tidied folded everything put back in and then it's sent back out to them. We do feel that we are helping other people, you know, we're contributing to paying back for what we have done that's wrong. The unpaid work requirement also allows for other activity. Case managers can assign service users either 30% or a maximum of 30 hours of their order to be used for educational support, counselling, group work and training courses to improve personal skills and to reduce re-offending. Within Auchintibber, a wide variety of other activities are offered, some of these directly by the service and others in partnership with relevant agencies. I'm the nutritionist here in Auchintibber, but I work for Lanarkshire Food and Health Community Partnership. I'm based here like four days a week. 
what I do is I teach um, the service users about healthy eating and also teach them like how to cook from maybe scratch or how to bring on their cooking skills. I offer like two courses, the food and health course and also offer the food and hygiene course. In the food and health, like I'll teach the guys about healthy eating, um, like how to cook on a budget, like meal planning and everything like that. And at the end of that they get a recognised certificate. So the service users could come from like at the beginning having like no cooking skills and at the end they can go on to like work in restaurants and things like that because they've got this qualification and they've got the experience, like the practical skills of cooking. Over the time I've worked here as well, um, a few service users have actually said to me that they would actually like to go on and study to become a nutritionist or they would like to study to become a chef. So that's like, it's really rewarding seeing that. Keep Well Nurses offer regular health checks to service users. Venture Trusts provide workshops such as consequential thinking and problem solving. Police Scotland Safer Communities give regular talks. Community Learning provides an IT skills development programme, all within Auchintibber. Unpaid work is of great benefit to local communities as it provides valuable assistance to individuals and groups as well as improving and maintaining the local environment. The project here at Clydesmill Community Fire Station has been brought into two separate phases. Phase one was an area that was identified and it's used by the local beekeep association and also this same site is shared with the firefighters as a, an area for, for recreational use. The experience I have had with the service users is they've always been very professional and the work that they've carried out the, the supervisors that, that, that come along with the service users are always very focused on the job that's to be done. Uh, there's always very robust systems in place to manage people, to manage people health and safety, ensuring their own health, safety and well-being while they're at work. Community payback guys have done a fantastic job. There, there are picnic benches, there's sheds for people to keep tools. It's absolutely been first class, the work that's been carried out. And I'm also hoping to use the community payback team as part of the, the ongoing maintenance for the programme. So I see our relationship as being not a short term uh, one-off fix, but a, a long-term relationship. <laughs>